Hello, everybody. This is Annie from Fresh Flair Furniture Artistry. Thank you so much for coming to watch this furniture makeover and for all of you who have subscribed so far. Um, this is an old secretary that was left on my doorstep by one of my neighbors. It was very solid and in really good condition other than the finish and some wear and tear. Uh, I had some wheels on it, on all of the legs actually, except one. And I thought maybe I would be able to find a replacement, a matching one in my stash, but I couldn't. The center part of the um, vanity was totally wrecked with veneer, so I realized I needed to remove that section and decided to make them into two separate end tables or nightstands. It seemed easy enough, but it was very difficult. I ended up using all kinds of different tools. It was like a puzzle the way it was put together. So I used the top section that I removed and cut out strips and filled it into those, uh, those uh, one inch slots and tried to make it disappear. I'll show you later. And here I am stripping off the finish or just scraping it off actually uh, to get down to the wood, which I, always enjoy that part for some reason and this is the wood after one sanding some cleaning and then here they are put on top of the old bodies before I began to look at the drawers and decide I'm going to uh, strip those the finish off of those and get down to the wood there and in this picture, you see the top one is finished and cleaned off. The bottom has the stripper still on it that needs to be cleaned off, which I did. And I did it to all of the drawers. And then I got to the body, which is a little bit more messy and uh, more difficult. I use citrus strip, which is um, good being that it's not as toxic, but it's hard to clean off. I should have been wearing gloves, so if you do this, please wear some gloves. And uh, anyway, cleaned it all off and got it, let it dry, and then I sanded it all, and, and here it is. You can see that piece of wood I put inside that big hole on the side for each of these nightstands. But then I realized I have to paint the outside, so I primered them, and I got to the drawers and sanded all them and made them like new again. I ended up waxing them and, and uh, giving them some nourishment before I was finished. So I painted them this neutral sort of grayish tan color neutral that goes with probably everything and but I could see that strip that I had cut and put in even though I had sanded it it seemed smooth I could still see that it had had a patch job so I tried to camouflage it um, using this uh, self-adhesive uh, stencil that comes in a roll. Uh, it's really, really nice. It works great. It is, uh, comes in different patterns and it's made by a company called Redesign by Prima and they have various you know, patterns and you put them on there and then I use this texture medium that I like it's real creamy and it kind of dries like a hard uh, oh, cement or something that's sandable, 
but really hard and I, I like that. So you just take a putty knife or, and you spread it on as thick as you want it to be and let it dry. And the handles, the hardware, turned out to be solid brass except for the drop handle part. So I put it in some vinegar with some salt for a few hours and then they polished right up just like new. Um, I didn't really love how shiny they were in comparison to the way the, the piece of furniture was turning out, so I ended up aging them in the end. But then I went ahead and used some of this uh, stencil and painted the sides of the drawers so when you open the drawers, you have a little bit of a surprise on the sides like that. And um, the front legs were really hard. I, I sanded and sanded and sanded and they just wouldn't get consistent looking. So I ended up painting them and then putting black wax in the creases to give it some dimension. Here's the backs that I painted and it's all done. And here they are uh, side by side. I ended up calling them Lucy and Ethel because I thought they were a team. And so um, they're, they're pretty cute. I think they, the drawers work great. The hardware I like. Um, the legs I like. I like. I like most of it. So I also went ahead and put another layer of a different stencil. Uh, effect on the sides because the first one didn't seem to give it a good enough coverage. So I just want to thank you so much for even watching these. I, I'm still learning how to make the videos and um, all the other things that I'm doing. And But I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video.